Hey everybody, Phil Crew here at Comedy Cigars and Music, and today's cigar for review is the My Father Le Bijou 1922. <laughs> Felt like I needed to be authentic. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting raisin, chocolate, and wood. Excellent band with a nice little orange sock. Speaking about the band, I'm typically not a big band guy. Um, I don't know. They don't really matter to me a whole lot as far as the cigar smoking experience goes. But I will say there's something about the My Father bands that just catch my eye. Which is odd because it's not really my style, but I kind of dig them. All right. So, <clears throat> right when I started lighting this cigar up, before I had even taken a draw or anything, just lighting it, awesome aroma of chocolate and cream, okay? Now, once I took the pull off of it, earth, chocolate, cream, mocha, and wood. And there's also some raisin coming in there. On the retrohale, earth, wood, saltiness, and just a little hint of leather in there. On the finish, earth, wood, a slight hint of coffee, and a nice helping of spice. That spice is all over the back half of the tongue, the top of the mouth at the back. And while I say it's a nice helping, still not overwhelming, just sits in there very well. I dig that. All right, we are well in the first third here. I'm gonna show you that burning ash, then I'll tap it off here. Burning ash so nice, it'll make your mama cry. Okay, so for starters, the performance of this cigar has been absolutely excellent. The draw, smoke output, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, I just showed you the burning ash. No issues with those whatsoever. So, let's get to the flavors of the first third. <clears throat> Raisin, dark chocolate, oak, and sweet cream. On the retrohale, coffee, oak, and leather. And that leather isn't a um, kind of harsh leather that you might get sometimes with a cigar. It's a very smooth... Uh, almost salty component to that leather there too. So that's been enjoyable. On the finish, leather, coffee, dark chocolate, raisin, and spice. And that spice where it was a little heavy at the beginning, not overwhelming but just a little heavy, it has mellowed out a lot. So that spice is kind of hitting that sweet spot that I really enjoy. Kind of brings everything together. That first burst of spice at the beginning kind of wakens up your palate, gets things moving and rolling, for me anyway. And then as it mellows out, it kind of brings everything together in the finish. I really dig that in cigars, and uh, this cigar is killing it. In a good way, of course. Components of this cigar, the wrapper is an Abano Oscuro Oscuro, or as my father says on their site, an Abano Double O. Almost like 007. You know, James Bond, uh, I have to admit, I am a Roger Moore James Bond guy. Uh, it's just what I saw when I was younger, probably too young. I'm an 80s kid, so a lot of things were too young as far as movies go, but yeah, Roger Moore. The binder and the fillers are both from Nicaragua. I know, I know, there's guys that love the Sean Connery James Bond, and hey, I give Sean Connery full credit. I liked his James Bond too. Uh, just something I liked about uh, Roger Moore's delivery and I don't know, I just like Roger Moore. Not like in a fanboy way, just, you know, as my preference with James Bond. Not that there's anything wrong with fanboys, I guess. All right, rounding out the second third here. Flavor-wise, wood, raisin, creamy chocolate, and earth. Leather, coffee, and spice on the retro hail. Then on the finish, leather, coffee, raisin, and dark chocolate. And again, that leather in the retro hail and on the finish, nothing harsh, just kind of peeks in there, gives a little punch, and then we're on to the rest of the flavors in the finish there. So, uh, just really enjoying the cigar. Um, it is a box press torpedo. Um, I actually kind of like box press actually, and this is more of a, a softer box press, doesn't have like hard edges or anything like that, at least with the one I have. Um, just performing very well. Draw, smoke output are still excellent. Um, I did have one minor burn touch up here in the second third. Uh, not a big deal.
All right, <clears throat> finishing out cigar here. Flavor-wise, earth, dark chocolate, cream, raisin, and wood. On the retrohale, coffee, leather, and black pepper spice. And that black pepper spice was kind of um, in and out through the second third, so it wasn't a major component. But in the retrohale for this final third has become a lot more present. And then on the finish, coffee, just a very, very little bit of spice in there. And then every so often, um, a vegetal note came in there. And that vegetal note, when it did come in, kind of came in at the beginning of the finish, but then it went out pretty quick and was taken over by that coffee and spice in a good way. Now, rating this cigar. On a scale of four, I'd give this cigar a three and a quarter. 007 might have very well romanced this cigar. Flavor-wise, I thoroughly enjoyed this cigar. Uh, the draw and smoke output were excellent throughout, and with only a few minor burn touch-ups throughout the whole cigar, no complaints really, so uh, I dig it. And frankly, when it comes to my father's cigars, I'm kind of a fan anyway. Again, not a fanboy. So, and again, not that there's anything wrong with that, I guess. Smoke time for this cigar came out to an hour and 54 minutes. As always, guys, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this review and enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks to all the subscribers that have come on board as of late and all the subscribers that have stuck with me for a while now. So I appreciate all that. Make sure to leave all your questions and comments below. I'll get to them as they come along. Until next time, guys, be cool to each other. Don't be a dillweed. Don't be ashamed of who your favorite James Bond is. And I'll see you soon. Oh, such things Still about my house Don't mess and me Well, the way to the world Where well, should I have known my house Well, the news and the news And the company